recording in progress. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Art 196, um, Introduction to Designing Computer Graphics for the Spring Semester 2022. Um, today is our third webinar. Um, what you should be working on this week are lessons two and three. They do not have to be turned in. They're to give you a background on HTML and CSS, which stands for cascading style sheets. Okay, so read that, watch my <clears throat> um, video, the videos on my webinars. Um, but what I wanted to do today, um, and, oh, and also begin your Wix account, and you might start collecting um, content for your Wix page. And so those two things, what I wanted to cover today in, uh, in class is that, am I still muted? No, I shouldn't be. Okay, there we go. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to go over um, the, the program that I use for creating this little web page, um, just the bare bones kind of thing. Um, it's text edit because I'm working on a Macintosh. For those of you working on a PC, there should be a very basic text program that's available to you on there that comes with the, um, the computer. It's probably a Windows application of some sort, but what you want to do is you want to strip it down to its bare bones minimum. Okay, so um, as I said, let me start with the, the HTML. And I'll go over that briefly for you, just understand what's going on here. And then um, it will be important that you pay attention to pages 57, 58, 59, and then there's a couple more, 60, because they will give you the, the, um, a list of the, the common tags that are used in HTML. And it's not that you have to memorize them, um, but in time you will familiarize yourself with them, and um, some will be, you know, some will become say, second nature. So th that's the important part of that. Um, the CSS lesson, lesson three, is just to give you an idea of how uh, web design has changed over the years. Um, they stripped away; they decided they developed cascading style sheets. To strip away the styles and from the content. And so in order for you to structure your, your website <clears throat> and to style it in a graphically rich way, CSS became a much more um, beneficial way and uh, of, of working with um, web design. So um, first things here in HTML, um, as you can see, I'm in text edit up here. Um, what you need to do if you are on a Macintosh and you're working with text edit is um, go ahead and open up preferences. Okay, so I'm going to go to text edit and open up preferences. And what you need to do <clears throat> is you don't want rich text, you don't want to wrap to page, you want plain text. And if there's anything down here that's checked, uncheck it except for maybe show ruler and that's it that's important because we want to be able to save the work that we're doing as a or as an html page now you can do that with um text edit without having to do this but this is will allow us to actually code the page ourselves so it says when opening a file, I don't um, make sure that all of this is unchecked. Everything is, is unchecked for open and save. Now, if you're working on a PC, it should give you similar preferences and do the same, make sure that everything is stripped away. Okay. So what I'll do now is I'll close this. And this is what this is gonna look like when we're done, nothing, um, important, but you can see that some text is larger than others. Some text, the word fun is bold. Um, we have some space between words. We also have um, one word that is italicized. So all of that 
um, needs to be placed in, in the HTML page in order for the, <clears throat> the browser to read the page correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brand new file here. I'll show you how I did this. And it's just a plain document. Okay. That's all there is to it. And now we can go ahead and we can structure our page using HTML, <clears throat> save it as an HTML page, and then we can open it directly in the browser. That's the whole point. Dreamweaver is an excellent program for developing web pages, um, but you really don't need it. If you wanted a very simple text website, you could use text edit to do that. That's all you need. So what I'm going to do here is discuss first um, the, the ta common tags that are used in, in structure for, for developing um, a web page. Um, think of web, the structure of the, the HTML kind of like a sandwich, okay? Um, sandwich has two slices of bread. It has some condiments in the top, like pickles and mustard and stuff. And then in the middle of it, it has some meat and cheese and that sort of thing. So if you think of an HTML page like a sandwich in that way, then what we need to do is that we're going to structure it in a like fashion. We're going to have the opening and closing tags for the HTML page, and they are as follows, just HTML. And let's go ahead and enlarge this a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. Pardon me. There we go. So you start by using a carrot, left carrot, and I'm gonna put um, HTML. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a, uh, a, a right carrot. This is the opening tag for your page. I'm gonna go ahead and add some, um, hit the return key a few times. And now what you need is your entire page will be contained within that. So these are our two slices of red. So you, you have an opening tag and now we have a closing tag. I'm gonna go ahead and hit a carrot again. The little backslash indicates a closing tag, okay? And all um, tags that you'll be using in HTML require an, oh, well, not all, but I'm gonna make a general um, uh, statement and say most, almost not over 90%, 99% of the tags that you'll be using require an opening and closing tag. There are some exceptions that you may see in the textbook. So here's H, whoops, HTML, okay, and the tag. Then inside that, we need to place a, a place for the condiments. So the condiments are in, a, in an area called the head of the document. Now you're going to see that there are headers, headings, heading tags, but this is the head. And it's easy to get confused between all three of those. So I'm going to go ahead and put an opening tag for the head. And I'm going to hit a couple of spaces here and I'm going to put closing tag head. Okay. And now we're ready to add the meat of our um, page. So the meat of our page is going to be typically what's inside something called the body of, of the page. So I'm going to put that back up there for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. So there's the opening tag for the body. And then down here, I will make the closing tag for the body. So again, you always need opening and closing tags. There we go. Okay, so now in the, in the heading, we can also, um, if you've wondered where does it, you know, where does the title of a page go in a browser? So if I go back, let's look at a browser real quick. And you look in the tabs, this is when we move on to Wix. And you look up here and you see, this is the title of the page. 
It's not the title of the website, it's the title of the page. Okay, well, that would go in here. So I can go ahead and add an opening tag and make a title. Notice that everything is lowercase. And I'm going to um, go ahead and add the closing tag. And then in between that, I will say, this will be my first website. Okie doke. So for right now, that's all we need. But in the future, um, you'll see that when we add um, an attached style sheet, it will go in there. When you add some JavaScript, JavaScript instructions and that sort of thing, it will go in the head of the document among other things. But that pretty much um, sets it up for the browser to give it the instructions as to what's th this is an HTML page, and then um, to give it the proper instructions as to what it needs um, to be able to render it properly in, in the browser. Then we're ready for the now the, the main content of our website. So I'm going to put um, web design is fun whoops fun and put uh, several spaces here and oh i also want a um i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to put title of the page here welcome to my first web page. Okay. There we go. Come back here, fun and put a few spaces, sometimes easy. Stretch this out a little bit so you can see this a little bit better. Okay, exclamation point. Okay, doc. Let me shrink this down just a tad. Try to do it just a little bit. Okay, hopefully everybody can see that. Okay. Okay, doc. Now I'm ready to save this as a website. I have all the main ingredients. I have a little bit of content. I have the title for my page. And you'll notice the important thing right now is that welcome to my first web page. Um, actually, let's go ahead and capitalize all of that. Not that it's important. You don't have to do that. You can put whatever you want in there, actually. Um, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this file. I'm going to save. And again, remember the um, from last week, the, uh, the rules that I taught you about um, saving pages. No, I don't want to save this as a text page. I want to save it as an HTML page. <clears throat> so I'm going to name it my first page um, spring 2022, okay? And then I have to put in the extension .html. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it in there. I have a little folder in here. This is art 196 fall 2020. I'm gonna go ahead and save it in there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up in a browser. I'm going to go ahead and bring a browser in here. And I'm going to add a brand new page here. And let's see. Come on. Don't be so sluggish. Make sure that this is empty. Now I can go ahead and open that. I can go to File. And I can say Open File.
this will be on my desktop. So question is, can I find it easily or not? Um, but again, it's kind of sluggish at the moment. Um, I don't want to go on documents. So I'm going to go on the desktop. And I need to find ART 196, fall 2020 files. Let's go in there and see if it's in here. There we go. So here's my first page. Okay. Now, is it in there? I put 2022. So let me go back and make sure that, that saved correctly. I'm going to go back to um, text edit. And I'm going to do file, save again. Oh, you know what? I didn't. I just saved it as my first page, didn't I? Or maybe I didn't. Come on. So this fundamentally is the basic structure of any web page that you'll ever see. Thought we'll finish. That would be nice. I'm trying to save it, and it's not doing a very good job. Looks like it's crashed. So that sort of thing happens from time to time. I'll wait for a couple of seconds. I can always pause the recording. Got to remember. Let's resume recording. Recording so, in progress. So even though the application is cra has crashed, I can go ahead and in my browser, I can go ahead here. And I'm going to go ahead and select this. And I'm going to select open. And hopefully it will open in the browser here. There we go. So this is really teeny tiny. You probably can't see it at all. I'll enlarge it. But you'll notice I had, um, when I first set this up and the way it would be viewed is that um, when I was typing, um, everything was on the, the, my title of my page or the heading was on one line and web design is fun as easy was it on a second line and there was more space between and and sometimes easy so if we want to put the put them on separate lines then we have to do the following so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to open up um uh text edit again I think my computer is being taxed to the nth degree. I should have all of these applications running. But anyway, it's the way it goes. So this is the one that I had open from before. Oh, no, it opened the HTML page. And that's not what I want. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and close this and we will save this again. Is it opened HTML? So I'm gonna go ahead and um, file new. We'll do this again. Uh, so I have to put everything back in. I'm sorry. Uh, 
that's what happens when it crashes. If I don't get to the Wix page today, then we will um, do it on Thursday. In fact, that probably will work best. So I need to enlarge this a little bit um, again, make sure that it's, you can see what I'm doing on your screen. There we go. So I'm gonna put HTML. And I'm just gonna go through all the, the stages, closing tag, HTML. And let's put in the head of the document. So opening tag, H-E-A-D, whoops, come on. And down here, we'll put closing tag for the head. Don't, don't, don't. And then we have the body down here. Opening tag, body. And let's go ahead and um, put the closing tag for the body down here. Okay, do remember I said for, in the head of the document, I put the title. So that is title. Um, and we said, welcome to my first web page. Okay, and now I need the closing tag for title. Okay, and now back into the body again. So I said, um, the same thing I'll say, you know, my first web page, this will be the, um, the heading for us. Yeah, that's going to be, I'll make all these capitalized first page. Can't type to save my soul. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll put a couple of spaces here. And I'm gonna say web design is fun. And sometimes easy. Okie doke. So I've got the title done. I have this in here, but I want the my first page and web design is fun and easy to be on two separate lines. So what you have to insert now is a paragraph tag, okay? So that is a P tag that you should become pretty familiar with, a P tag, closing tag for P. And that will put it on a separate paragraph. I'll go ahead and I'll put web design is fun and easy also in a separate paragraph um, and make sure that if I add anything after that, there would be they would go on separate lines. Now you can also use something called a line break. And that is one of the examples that doesn't need a closing tag. You just need in carrots BR for break. Um, um, here, so here's another P tag. So that these will now be on separate lines. So I'm in the, in the event that this crashes again, I'm going through this a little bit quicker than what I normally would do. So let's say, for example, if we look at my finished example over here, where web design, the, the, the first one that I did was um, welcome to my, or my first web page, that, that is the title of my page. Um, if I want that to be a larger, I need to use something called a heading tag. Um, heading tags are important, uh, especially for making your website um, compatible with um, people with disabilities, make it ADA compliant. So what I will do is I'm gonna make this an H1 tag. It, it, it goes from H1 to H6, and then we have P tags for, for paragraph or basically your, your body tags. So I'll make this the largest one. So I'll put it and make it an H6 or H1 rather, H1. 
goes in descending order. So I could put these on separate lines if you want. It really doesn't matter as long as they are sandwiched in between. So I'll go ahead and that's H1. We'll make this um, closing tag for H1. Oops, let me make sure that it's closing. H1. And if I want, I'll put that there. So that's the the heading is is uh, is sandwiched between this p tag. Now, what I want to do here is let's say, for example, I want to emphasize the word fun. Okay. Well, we could use if I want to make it bold, I could use something called a strong tag. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and add that strong. And it will turn this into um, a bold text. Now, there are a lot of these features that Dreamweaver will do automatically. You don't it clearly don't have to do it by hand. So if you guys are worried about having to hand code everything, you don't. But you do need to be familiar enough with um, HTML so that if there is a problem with your page, you can go in and you can begin to troubleshoot. Okay. The next thing is I said I wanted between and, and sometimes I wanted more space. So even, you know, even though if I'm typing I'm hitting the space bar here. When it reads the page in the browser, it won't show up. So what I need to do is I need to add um, um, non-breaking or um, spaces here. So what that is, it's a, um, an ampersand non-breaking um, space. Um, SP and Come on, or B. Come on. I'm breaking. I can't type to save my soul. Space and then semicolon. Whoops, semicolon. Semicolons in um, coding are kind of like a period at the end of a sentence. So for every additional space that I want, I need to put one of these non breaking spaces. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to paste a bunch more. There you go. And then, so I've added a few more of these, so it will add some space. And then let's say, for example, I want the word easy okay, to be in italic. So that needs, that would require an M tag or EM for emphasis. So I'm going to go ahead and put an M. And then after the word, I'll put in the closing tag. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where did it go? There we go. Oh, my computer's acting up. There we go. So here's my closing tag for um, the emphasis. Okay. Um, did I put a closing or no? I did. It's just going on a separate line now, but that won't show up. Um, closing tag, uh, carrot. Okay, so let's go ahead and save all this and see how differently it looks than the first one that I published. So I'll go ahead and I'm gonna save it again. Why did it doesn't crash? Well, you know what? I can, I'm gonna cancel this for a minute. I noticed a mistake. I didn't put the carrot at the end of strong. It may have read it anyway, but just in case. 
the closing tag for strong. So let's try it again. Let's go ahead and save. Hopefully it won't crash. Normally web pages don't require um, a whole lot of uh, memory, but because I have other things going here, um, I'm going to rename the other one. I'm going to say my first um, page. Spring 2022.html. Let's go ahead and save it. I'm going to replace the old with the new. Let's go back to the browser. Whoops, too far. Oh, come on. This is annoying. I'm sure it's annoying to all of you. Okay. So let me get make sure that I have a browser here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just simply refresh this. Now you'll see the difference that each of these are in their own paragraphs. I have two separate lines that by adding the heading tag, the H1 tag, which is not the same as the head of the document. And then we were also, we start designing pages, you'll see that we have headers that um, when I wanted the word fun to be bold, I added a strong tag when I wanted additional space between the words, I had to add um, the no spread, no, non, it's an X or that, it's the ampersand, N-O, um, S-P, semicolon. For every extra space that you want, you have to add that. And then for easy, because there is a different word for it, it's non-breaking space, there we go. Um, You know what? I missed, I did it wrong here. So this is, um, you know what? Let me go back to the original. And anyway, the word easy, because that's, oh, that's why. See, I have two, I can't, I told you I can't type. See how I have this extra, ampersand here. So it doesn't know, you know, you can be one character off and that's when the problems arise. So anyway, um, be sure and watch the video that I did before, probably have just as many mistakes in that and glitches. But again, this is crashing again, so I'm going to leave this alone. And all for the remainder of the time here, we'll get you started with the Wix website, okay? Unless there are any questions about um, HTML. No, no questions. If you wanna speak, I can also make sure that you can do that too. Just let me know and I'll unmute you. No? Okay, see, crashed once again. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to close it. Of course, quit it <clears throat> and close this, close this. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go back to Wix now. Can everybody see this? Yes, no? So I'm at the Wix website, and what I wanted to do is make sure that all of you 
have the experience of designing a very basic website, but using a free online web editor. Um, Wix is as good as any. Um, there are others that are that do cost that will provide some excellent templates. And um, it's really a, a direction that many companies go. Rather than having to hire a web designer, they can do it themselves and they can maintain it themselves. Um, but Wix is a, a, a major player in this online service. And this is when you put in Wix.com, this is um, what you get. Okay. And where it says get started, you just click there and put in your information. You'll need an email address and maybe some other stuff, and you'll be able to, um, you know, create an account with them. I'm already already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click sign in here. And it's Kurt Miller Art. That's my password. Let's go ahead and log in. So we'll take a look at the one that it's very similar to the website, my personal website, but um, it's much simpler. And it's one the, a kind of website that I'm expecting all of you to design, okay? It has four basic components. You're gonna have a splash page. In addition to that, you're gonna have a paragraph or, or two about yourself. You're gonna have samples of your artwork, or if you want instead to have photographs of your dog, that's fine. And then you're gonna have the contact information. Now that can be on four separate pages or it can be one lengthy page, okay? And the one that I have set up here is on like two or three pages. Okay, so, and it's taken time for me to load all of this while I've been chatting here, getting you up to speed. So here's my website. This is my site number one. Now, if I want to edit this, I can go ahead and when I click the um, edit site, it will allow me to go in and change the pages. If I want to view the site itself, I just click here and it will open it up in a browser. And this is what it looks like in the browser. So you can see that my splash page is really nothing more than a slideshow of the, this is the virtual gallery that I created this last year, okay? But then if you go to my about page, and again, all of this is free. When you edit it, it automatically um, makes it available online, but, um, Yeah, but you can see that this one, the name of my website is, um, you would need um, HTTPS colon backslash backslash um, kirkmillerart.wixsite.com hyphen my first, you know, my, it's my site one. This is the about page. So if you wanted to, if I wanted to tell anybody how to get here, I would have to give them this information here. Now, if you want your own custom um, URL, then that would be different, but this is a freebie. So here's the, um, again, back to my artist statement, my biography, and then I have a contact page here. And again, the, the formats for all of these are available and easy to um, access. So I'm going to go back to the, the main menu here. And let's start by creating a new website. So this is my site one. Let's go ahead and go home here. And I don't want to edit it. What I want to do is I want to set up up here. You can see here's my site number one. Let's go to create a new site and we'll call it my site number two. Okay. So it asks you, 
for so it's going to give you a series of, of templates to start with. You want to create an online store, and some people have done that in my classes. They've sold beauty products or um, they sell their paintings already. So that's what they want to do. Um, from the reason I designed this class, since it was mainly intended for all of you who are graphic design majors or photography majors or <clears throat> art majors, is to create your own portfolio. So I'm going to select, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select portfolio. But you can see that they have blog consultant technology company. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select portfolio. Okay. Then they ask, what kind? Are you a digital illustrator, classical music student, male model, ceramics portfolio? Okay, so we're going to say digital illustration. These are some of the, the options that they give you. Unfortunately, just yet, you don't see any of the templates. But if you want to always go back and you want to view the other templates that are available, then we can do that. Um, there's a lot of the, the hard work is done for you. Now, it says, if you want um, Wix to create the website for you, you can start now. I want you to use create your website with the editor. So we want to edit a template. And for these are the results for digital illustration major. Okay. <clears throat> lots and lots of different templates. You can see that they have what over 34 pages of these. So you simply, you know, if you want all templates, if you want blank templates, it's up to you. And then you can go back in and you can put in your own. Um, you know, you'll take and you'll substitute the placeholder images for your own. You'll substitute the placeholder text for your own. So let's pick one here. Let's pick this one. Let's go ahead and view this one and see what it looks like. So I recommend viewing them. Okay. So you want to use this one, use this template as a starting point. Sure. Let's edit this site. Why not? It's an easy peasy way of, of creating an online presence. And the reason we made this class required for getting your degree in graphic design at Cerritos is that it is whether you become a web designer or not, you're going to have to become familiar with it. Okay. So if nothing else, if you go to a programmer and you want to tell them what to do, you'll have some familiarity and you'll know what you can and can't do in web design. Okay. Just taking a moment here, hopefully not too long. To build a template for us. <clears throat> Usually goes much quicker. As I said, I made the mistake of <coughs> having a rendering going in the background. So here are all the placeholders. So what I want to do, if you like the typeface that they've chosen, I think it's nice. But if you want to you know, switch to a different page, if you want to edit it, I can come back in here now. And if I want to change the background, I can do that. That's one of the things that we would be doing. I don't want to change that just yet. I want to, I don't want to switch page. I want to come down here telling you how easy this is and it's making it difficult for me. Well, let's try to change the path. Um, switch page, no. Uh, switch to mobile. Yeah, you can see because it does have it. Um, I want to click in here. I want to edit the text. There we go. So edit text. So I double clicked a couple of times and instead of Elias Cole, 
I'm going to put Kirk Miller. Come on. Very sluggish again. So, but this gives you an idea that all of these elements in here are editable. You can add to, subtract, and swap them out. But it gives you, you know, a pretty good idea of what, you know, you need to do. So I'm coming back here and we'll just, since we're running out of time today, let's see what I can finish. Kirk Miller. I don't want developer mode. Okay. So if I want to change the point size, I could have done that. If I want to, oh, come on. I don't want to add any of those things. Come on. Come on. And they are going to encourage you to upgrade and to pay for their service. And at some future date, if that's what you want to do, let's go back to the settings. Come on. There we go. So I've edited. <clears throat> it took me a while. Oh, 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 come on. I don't want any of those things. I want to close them. There we go. Come on. And if you want to save it, then you save it. And then if you want to preview it, you preview it. What I want to do though right now is I want to see if I can't get this stupid thing off here. Um, it's simply by clicking off of it, it's supposed to do that. But come on. Illustrator graphic design. I want to come in here and if I click on the image, you can see that there are other placeholder images that you can use. But what I want to do is I want to add media and I want to replace the image with my own. Okay. So here we can just say search, you know, give it's important to give a title and a description for your image. But I'm going to see if I can't find one of my own here. And I think we'll call it a day. Come on. Yeah, it's just, it's everything is bogging down. So there we go. So these are some of my site files. Um, hopefully it will show up from my previous. Okay, so they aren't showing up from the previous website. So now I need to upload media, upload the image that you want to use, and then replace the old with the new, the placeholder with yours, and then you're set to go. So um, let me see if I can't find an image on my website upload from computer, or you can drag and drop. <clears throat> Very annoying. So now I need to go to my desktop. Oh, we'll do this one. Take this one right here. And this will be my opening page. Still uploading, and there we have it. So I'm going to go ahead and add the page. This is what I want to add. So let's go ahead and select done. Let's see if it changed it. There we go.
No, didn't change it. Okay, so I'm having troubles here. And that's where you place the title in the description. Um, this is just getting to be a bit much. So I want to manage media. Come on. I hope you're getting the picture that that's how this is done. And it won't be as sluggish on your computer. If it is, then um, that's unfortunate. But again, it's because I'm broadcasting to all of you and um, things are just a bit sluggish today. What can I say? That will happen from time to time throughout this semester. Hopefully not too often. So unless you have any questions, um, we covered a little bit of HTML today. Um, and be sure and watch the, the previous videos that I've made available to you. I want to change the page back around. Come on. Um, and then um, I've introduced you to Wix, which is what you should be working on as well. So if there is nothing more, um, we'll call it a day. And you guys are, if you want, Let's see who's here. There we go. Um, yeah, if you have, do you have, do any of you have any questions before we leave today? Just everything right now is just very sluggish. And I don't know why. I think it's because I have a rendering going in the background. Never know. Um, normally, small images like this don't take that long to load, don't take that long to change. So I'll add that. It annoys me to no end when this does this, though. Let's hopefully this swaps it out. No, I give up for today. So <clears throat> anyway, um, I'm going to say goodbye to all of you. I'll pause the recording. Um, if any of you need to stick around or have additional questions, um, please let me know and I will be here for you. Okay. Okay. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate that. You have a good afternoon too.